My name is Thanh. I am a student of career machine learning class and today I'm going to present my final reject. So I grew up in the countryside surrounded by beautiful nature. Growing up, um, I moved to Ho Chi Minh City to study and work. I feel like in a modern life, people don't have that much interaction with the nature. So I want to create an app that help people learn more about the nature. So my app is Victory Guru, a plant identification and quick generation. The idea is pretty simple. It is an app that helps people to identify the plant based on the leaf. Um, there are several apps in the market, uh, in the markets which already did this. However, this app is unique because it is tailor made for the Vietnamese ecosystem. After uh, getting the result from a uh, plant identification, the app is going to generate the uh, informative content from Wikipedia. And finally, I want to um, introduce an educational feature with the app, which is the interactive quiz for a fun learning experience. So the data set that I use include 10 types of leaves. As you can see, there are several uh, leaves that you may be uh, familiar with. For example, like lemon, mango, or guava, and the distribution of the data set is not very balanced. For the plant identification, the photos, uh, I, first I will pre process the photos um, using techniques like rescale rotation and prior adjustment to avoid overfitting, and then I use the mobile v 2 to extract all the features for classification. After that, I use global average pooling layer, followed by several fully connected layer, uh, intertwined with value activation and drop out layer to avoid overfitting. At uh, on top, I use the softmax activation layer uh, with ten nodes to reduce the label. So after training for thirty bot, I got a ninety six accuracy score. Uh, using item optimizer. Uh, for the error analysis, as you can see here, uh, the app um, was con confusing when it comes to like leaf which is very small or leaf which has several defects on it. For the query generation, at first I extract the article from Wikipedia and then I remove all the stop words. I will target the noun and the adjective to extract the key phrase. Uh, then I will rank those words based on um, their importance. I will select the top trendy words. After that, I use the words net and concept net to generate wrong answers uh, for the keyword. Uh, when I get the key phrase and the wrong answer, I can form a fill in the blank question. So let me quickly walk you through an example. You have a blank test, and then uh, the model gonna extract the key phrase for you, which is sweetness. And then I would try to find the wrong answers for sweetness, which are bitterness, sourness, spiciness, uh, etc. And then I can form a fill in the blank question that you can see on the screen. So let's go straight to the demo. So here I already uploaded a photo for you. So this is China, a very common leaf. So let's see if the model can detect it. Okay, so the model can correctly identify the plant and also it returned the content from Wikipedia for you with a link if you want to read more about the plant. But this is a very uh, clean background so let's try something more complicated. Okay, as you can see in this photo, there are several things going on in the background. Let's see if the model can still uh, detect this is China or not. So the model can still detect uh, this is China live. But this is only one leaf, so let's try multiple leaves. In this case, I will try mangoes. Oh. 
Okay, this is um, mango. There are several leaves in the photo. Okay, so the model can still um, correctly identify the plant uh, even when there are several leaves in the photo. After the model uh, correctly identify the plant, it's going to generate the quid based on the content from Wikipedia right here. So let's go to the quid. Okay, here I have three multiple choice questions for you. So just uh, read the question number one for a demonstration. Like, sour unbrine mango seeds are used in Chinese pickles, horns, and other side dishes in a pagali cuisine or maybe eaten raw with a blank spade, chili, or soy sauce. So for this question, I would choose salt. And then the second question, I would choose something like uh, ice lolly. And the third one, I would try um, like rancidness. Okay, click submit and then see the result. Okay, so I only uh, got a score of 30 or 10 out of 30. Uh, if you want to know the solution, you can click here. Okay, and then uh, the correct answer for question number one is sound, and question number two is ice cream, and number three is sweetness. Let's um, try these correct answers. Ice cream, sorry. And then sweetness. And then submit it again. Okay, this time I got 30 out of 30. And also you can try the quiz with other plants as well. Go back to the presentation. So I think the app has many applications. First, it can be used to create interactive lessons for biology students. Second, I think uh, it can generate insightful information for environment experts farmers, nature enthusiasts, and finally, I think the quiz generation can be used in reading comprehension tests. For the future work, I think I would try to collect more data, especially few photos, um, to increase the accuracy of the model. And then I would try to reassess the inputs with a state-of-the-art techniques like OpenCV to subtract the background. And for the quiz generation, I want to explore the sequence to sequence techniques. Um, and finally, I want to deploy the app on smartphones so people can have access to it. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you very much.